Okay, in this tutorial we're gonna learn how to create sliding tabs using the view page hub. I have created a brand new Android project. The first thing I'm gonna do is right click on app and click on open module settings. Click on the dependencies tab, click on plus and then library dependency. Choose the latest Android support design library that you can find in the list of libraries that, have, that they have mentioned. Click on OK and the project should sync by itself. After that, you're going to create new blank fragment. I'm going to name this tab 1 as this is going to represent the first tab in my view page. I'm going to go ahead and create two more fragments and name them tab 2 and tab 3. For a view pager to work, we need a pager adapter. So we're going to create a custom pager adapter in this project. Create a new Java class and name it pager adapter. Let this class extend the fragment state pager adapter. Notice that that line shows an error. So keep the cursor on that line and click on Alt Insert. Click on Override Methods and click OK. That line still shows an error because we need a constructor. So go ahead and create a constructor with the parameters Fragment Manager FM and int number of tabs pass the variable fm using the super keyword after that set the global number of tabs to the local number of tabs using the this keyword the get count method you're gonna put return m number of tabs create a switch case for the variable position in the get items method if the position is zero we're gonna create an object for tab one and return it the same goes for case 1 and case 2. In the default case, we're just going to pass null. Let's go to the styles.xml file under the values folder and change the dark action bar to no action bar in the app theme. I'm going to go to the tab1.xml file and I'm going to change the text to tab1. Now I'm going to change the frame layout to relative layout. Let's set the layout center in parent parameter of the text view to true. It's still not in the center because our layout width and layout height are set to match parent. Let's change that to wrap content. Keep the text size as whatever you want. I've kept it as 30 dp. Go ahead and do the same thing for the fragment tab 2 and fragment tab 3.xml files. Now, in the activity main.xml file, let's remove the default text view and let's change the constraint layout to linear layout. Since we changed the dark action bar to no action bar, as you can see, there is no toolbar. So we're gonna go ahead and create a custom toolbar. Set the width as match parent and the height as wrap content. Give it an ID of toolbar and you can set the background to any color you want. In this case, I'm gonna set it to color primary. Android min height will be set to question mark attr slash action bar size.
Android theme will be set to add style slash theme overlay dot app compact dot dark dot action bar. App colon pop up theme will be the same as theme, but instead of dark dot action bar, we're just gonna have light. Now create a new widget called tab layout. This is where your tabs are going to be visible. Set the width to match parent and height to wrap content. Notice that the tab layout isn't showing up on the preview. This is because we haven't given an orientation to the linear layout. So set the orientation to vertical. The three attributes background, min height and theme are exactly the same as the toolbar widget which we have just done. So you can go ahead and copy paste them to the tab layout widget. Now for the view page itself. This is where the content of the fragments will be. Set the width to match parent and height to fill parent. Give it an ID and now let's move on to the Java file. In order to use the contents of the three tabs, that is the three fragments, we'll have to implement them in this main activity. So I'm going to type implements tab one dot on fragment interaction listener and I'm going to do the same for tab two and tab three. Again, it shows you an arrow. So click on Alt Insert and click on Implement. Let's reference the tab layout widget in the OnCreate method. Using this reference va variable tab layout, you can create how many other tabs you want. In this case, I'm going to create three tabs and name them Tab One, Tab Two, and Tab Three. This can be done by using the method Add Tab. Whatever you put inside the set text will be displayed on the tab. Tab layout dot set tab gravity. Inside that tab layout dot gravity fill. This will set all the tabs in a suitable manner. Reference the view pager widget. Final view pager. Give it a variable is equal to. In brackets view pager, find view by id, r dot id and the id that you've given for the view pager. Now we're gonna create an object for the custom pager adapter that we had created earlier. As the parameters we're gonna pass get support fragment manager, comma tab layout dot get tab count view pager dot set adapter to the adapter that you've just created view pager dot set on page change listener that is going to be deprecated but it's fine inside the brackets you can put new tab layout dot tab layout on page change listener and inside that put tab layout tab layout dot set on tab selected listener inside the brackets put new and type capital O select the first option on tab selected listener and it will create all the methods for you Inside the on tab selected method, type view pager dot set current item as the tab dot get position. Usually the text on a toolbar is set to the app name, but since we've removed the default action bar and set a custom toolbar, we'll have to do it manually. So create a text view inside the toolbar widget and name and keep the text as whatever you want. That's it. Now let's run the app and see how it looks. As you can see, three tabs are created, each containing the layout of the fragment that is assigned to it. All you have to do is set the layout of the fragment to whatever you want and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more on point videos just like this one.